Amy and Doug from Plants for Human Health Institute, and today we're going to be planting some seeds. But we are not going to go out in the garden and plant them. We're going to plant them indoors. Doug, you want to tell us what we're going to do? Yeah, what a cool little method this is for um, getting students involved in the garden early. Um, square foot seeding is using a paper towel, some glue, and some seeds, and making a seed mat that can then be transplanted into the garden when the time is right. Oh, cool. So let's get started. So the things you're going to need, you're going to need a paper towel. Um, you can use any type. If you can find the ones that aren't selecticized, that's great. If not, then, um, then you use what you have. The ones we have here today are actually select a square, which is nice, makes a nice square paper towel. Um, and, it, and anything anything you can find will work. We're gonna need some seeds. Today we're using radish seeds. We've got a couple of different types of radish seeds. And some school glue. I The school glue is perfectly fine. If you're not comfortable with right. using glue, you can make a paste with either flour and water or cornstarch and water. So what we have to do is we have to consult a square foot planting guide to find out our spacing. So Doug, we're gonna be planting radishes. How many radish seeds can I fit on my square okay. foot? Okay, radishes all the way over to the right. There's 16 wow. radish seeds that go in each square. So I can get 16 radishes here in a square foot? That's amazing. So the way we start is we're gonna fold our paper towel. So we're going to go ahead and fold it in half. So we fold it in half, crease it. We're gonna do that a second time. That's two folds. A third time, I'm trying to press down and crease as good as I can so that I'm able to see my squares when I'm finished. And one more time. So fold it in half four times. And then when I open it back up, I have 16 little squares. And Perfect. that's the exact spacing for radishes. And now we're going to use a method that uh, myself and many teachers call dot, dot, not, not a lot. lot. And we're going to be placing one dot of glue in each square. If you work with younger students, you may not want to give them a full bottle of glue. You might want to opt for a little container of glue instead and either a Q-tip or a toothpick. Yeah. All right, Doug, you want to do your yeah, half with I'll the bottle and I'll do my half with yeah, the Q-tip. I'll do it just right in the center of the paper towel. It doesn't, you don't need a lot, just a dot works. Okay. Okay, then. Now I'm gonna be using watermelon radishes. Those are really cool. I'm using Easter egg radishes, which are cool as well. Now, one thing I like about radish seeds is the radish seeds are fairly large, and so they're easy to handle if you want to plant a different crop that comes in as a smaller seed, maybe like a carrot or something, you might want to go with a pelleted seed. Here is a pelleted seed. They are about the same size as radish seeds. It makes it a lot easier for young students to handle. Right, it's just some inert material that's put around a seed that's hard to handle and it makes it big enough to make it uh, very, very simple to plant and it, uh, the coating around dissolves quickly and you're good to go. Excellent. Yeah. You know, Amy, something that's amazing, here we plant a seed, and if we get that in the ground 25, 30 days later, we're eating that wow. as a radish. That's and another great reason to, to use radishes for this activity is that they have such a quick harvest time. Yeah. You, get an, you get a pretty easy payoff with that. So. Right, and during the school, uh, the semester as well. So if you're planting in February or March, you're going to have them uh, while the kids are still there. Do it again in September and you, you get the same thing. You plant them in October and still have them harvest. So yeah. And I also like radishes because there's so many different varieties. So we planted Easter egg and watermelon and those are a lot of fun varieties for students to see. Uh, so I, I can think of one school where, where I saw the students pulling up the radishes and just the smile. I mean, they were besides themselves with uh, uh, excitement about pulling those up. So here is our completed seed map. The only thing you might want to add to it is a name or you might want to add the crop, but it's going in the ground. So you're not going to be able to see that later, are you? No, you're not. Um, so you may want to know what you know what you planted if you have a map for your entire garden. Okay, this goes in this square and so forth. Perfect. But uh, yeah, and ownership for if if you care about whose it is. Okay. 
The, the other great thing about this is I can do it any day. If I'm signed up for the garden and it's raining and I can't go out, then I can do this indoors. I can do it um, with my entire class. Right. It can be done in, in a center. Right. It can be done with students to send home as well. Wow. So it's a great little activity to get all students engaged and have a little ownership in the garden. And right. Just and have some fun with it. This can be planted in a container at home too. So every student would have the opportunity to grow one of these at home. Um, you know, Amy, something I really love about square foot gardening, or well, uh, this in particular, is that you can, uh, square foot seeds rather, um, is that you can start doing this, you know, months ahead. You could, to build anticipation for the garden, uh, could, getting kids interested, you can make these in January saying, hey, when we have a good day in late February, we're gonna be planting these. And I just think that's a great way to, to build that anticipation. Great, that sounds good. So, well, thanks for joining us for Square Foot Seeds. We'll go outside and plant this in a little while.